It doesn't matter if you're a farmer, a landscaper, a homeowner or whatever, when you sit down to use that piece of equipment and you turn that key, you expect performance. Grab it right up. I get a John Deere tractor for my birthday or for Christmas, but I'm not allowed to touch it. <laughs> we came to get my father a lawnmower for his birthday and John Deere's the only way to go. A John Deere man all the way to the bone and just maybe an inch beyond. I really haven't heard anything but a deer, so. We have two little kids. Their favorite colors are green John and Deere green. There's science behind that color. <laughs> I grew up green. I'm gonna stay green and if I didn't, my brothers would probably, probably choke me out eight different John Deere harvesters. So I think we have 13 of them all together. It's very reliable. It's been a real workhorse for us. You buy a John Deere and you treat it right, I think it's gonna last you a lifetime. Nothing runs like a 20-year-old deer. There's a 43-year-old tractor. I'm gonna take it out today and I'm gonna work it. Mowing lawns, grading driveways, plowing snow, farms. They're a leader in agricultural equipment. So when I have a customer come to me, they typically come to me with the most challenging, hardest job that nobody else can handle. And so I come in and I say, yeah, let's let's make this happen. The, the big thing is you're not buying a color, you're buying a teammate. So I could find a cheaper machine, but to have that support to be able to get a hold of someone to do whatever they can to keep me going. Um, that is everything in my world. Do what's right for our customers. The right call. Preparing it right. To get things right. Do it right. Doing the right thing. The first time. The commitment is to always do the right thing. When we head out in the field, we need to get a day's work. We can't go out there and then spend three days broken down, waiting for parts, waiting for service. There's times we've got to chase a tractor two or three times. But damn it, we're going to do it. And we're going to do it with efficiency and urgency. Or just a little bit so I can work on it. I'll be out of the way. Because we were diehard Case New Holland guys. Test drove a uh, New Holland tractor. The other color. The GPS system was very hard to work with, so I said I'd never do it again. John Deere has tremendous quality. The quality is just amazing. Leaps and bounds above the competition. It's second to none. What separates John Deere from the rest of them is quality service, where you buy the equipment from and the people that you deal with. We had a stationary mixer. The fuel pump was shot. It literally died in the middle of Route 2. And I know it was going to rain. And My mower completely came apart. It was a Saturday afternoon. It was a Sunday. And it was well after the store was closed. I keep my cell phone on me at all times, 24-7. Doesn't matter if it's a weekend or a holiday. I called my salesman, Steve, on his cell phone. I called him up and I said, hey, like, this door on the skitcher's not working right. Steve showed up and uh, worked uh, right alongside us till three in the morning. Yeah, yeah, I put a trailer of, of hay in the ditch that night and Steve was there. <laughs> Eric has been almost a staple of our family, that's for sure. And we sat there and we fixed it. So I could keep going. When it's five o'clock and you're not done, you just can't pick up and leave. They actually brought me a chopper and said, here, use it, get your cutting done. That's service you just really can't find anywhere else. I guess it comes from the way I was raised. I was brought up that honesty was the best policy. It's a company policy. I'd say honesty and transparency. Armin and Cord? Nah, you can't trust them. I've dealt with them for probably 30 years. Eric does what he thinks is right for my business. I haven't caught him in a lie yet, and I've tried. I so much has made a deal on a tractor one time with him, drove by his office window, and we listened to his conversation without him knowing. And I still didn't catch him in any lie. People want someone to be honest with them, someone that can, be, that can guide them. I tell people all the time, I'm not a salesman, I'm just a guy that works in sales. You don't have to have a pushy salesman because the product speaks for itself. This is our product. I mean, we have to stand behind our product before the sale, during the sale, after the sale, and then years after the sale. The parts back up and the warranty back up and uh, you know, knowing that John Deere is always gonna be behind the product that they sell. Selling financing is as important as selling equipment. That's, that's what makes it doable for people. And you work seven days a week and you're like, with a shovel. I remember, you know, the day that we finally got a tractor, you know, to, and I said, wow, we're moving up in the world. John Deere works hard to, to make the churns easier to bear. Just recently for the hemp business, uh, 
we bought a ginormous rototiller, eight foot. No means of even making a payment on another piece of equipment. Oh yeah, we'll defer it six months, no problem. John Deere, corporate John Deere. You call, you tell them what's up. Yep, we set you up on a payment plan. You know, uh, they're there to help. They really are. It's more than a job, it's a way of life. We've been the tractor business since 1966. I'd like to thank everybody for the business they give us. Treat everybody like family here. We have a tremendous team here. Be fair, we want to be here, and we want to be partners with all of our customers. Nothing runs like a deer. Nothing runs like a deer. And nothing. Nothing runs like a deer. It's like a deer. Nothing runs like a deer. Nothing runs like a deer. Nothing runs like a deer. Like a deer. Nothing runs like a deer. Nothing. Oh, I ain't got no complaints with John Deere. Nothing runs like a deer, but it even runs better from harvest equipment.